there are three types of muscles. Smooth muscles, cardiac muscles, and skeletal muscles. First, let us talk about smooth muscles. Smooth muscles are also called involuntary muscles. Involuntary means they keep working by themselves. You don't need to put out an effort to make them work. See this fan? Oh, see, it started working without pressing the button. That's an involuntary action. Smooth muscles also work without any action from your side. Smooth muscles are found in our intestines, stomach, bladder, and other organs. They are found in between the outer covering and the inner lining. So they are sandwiched between two walls of these organs. Look at this sandwich. Imagine one bread slice to be the outer covering of your stomach and the other slice as the inner lining of your stomach. The cheese inside represents the smooth muscles. Smooth muscles in the wall of the stomach and intestines help to push food down into your digestive system. Similarly, smooth muscles form what is called the sphincter, which along with your bladder helps to control your pee. Now, let's move on to the cardiac muscles. Cardiac means of the heart. Cardiac muscles are also a kind of involuntary muscle, as they also work without any action from your side. The heart is a cardiac muscle. It contracts and relaxes and sends blood into your whole body. Oh, you want me to stop? Do you want to ask something? Oh, you want to know which kinds of muscles there are in your arms? Okay, wait. Now we're going to talk about these in particular. The third type of muscles is what are called voluntary muscles. These are under your control. That means you can actively move these as you want. See? You can control these. These muscles are attached to your bones. There are small threads, like tissue. They tie your muscles to your body. Your bone movement also happens due to these muscles. See, at this catapult, rubber is tied to a wooden fork by a thread. Tendons are similar to threads, and muscles are similar to rubber. To tie muscles to bones, you need tendons. Skeletal muscles are controlled by our nervous system. When we want to move them, motor nerves carry a message to the brain and the brain sends a message back to skeletal muscles telling them to act. Now, let's see the major skeletal muscles of our body. These are the pectorals, biceps, gluteus maximus, hamstring, calves, quadriceps, and triceps. <laughs> you may know about muscles now, but that does not mean that you can pick up these weights. To pick up weight, you need to make your skeletal muscles strong. You need to exercise. You need to drink milk and eat a balanced diet. So you're going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos. <coughs> It also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children.